Hello everyone and now welcome to game number two in the series between Xiao Xi Xi and ZDR. Xiao Xi Xi spawning this time as well the blue night elf player on the bottom left hand side of Twisted Meadows. Meanwhile over here on the top left hand side we have ZDR spawning as the red undead. Now I am very curious as to why there's no observers in this game. I'm wondering if this was just taken um, maybe perhaps in some ladder play and hence no observers making it a little bit more difficult for me to actually do my thing and do these casts justice now what are we going to be seeing here in this matchup and that's that's really really an interesting interesting predicament that xiao xi xi forced onto zdr zdr um pretty much um, looked like he was going to be going for gargoyles, but because he didn't go for gargoyles, he was unable to apply any, really any serious pressure. His opponent had also gone double Ancients of War, so even if, even if his opponent had gone for gargoyles, the archer production should have been able to keep up. So, that actually forced um, ZDR into trying to engage in skirmishes and try to do a little bit more creeping, and once he found out that that expansion was just mining for so long, I believe he just threw in the white towel and said, you know what, there's no way I can keep up in this particular game. Better to just not tire myself out and be more refreshed in the upcoming, upcoming game and see what I can do there. Now, interesting thing to note, we do see the... Um, the Warden has been um, trained up already or will be done being trained in about 15 seconds. Meanwhile, the ghoul is looking for where his opponent could possibly be. Uh, based on, um, I don't see what the actual fog of war is and the padding on this, but the uh, ghoul is now going to come inside here and now finally spot that this Ancient of War is right here. Ancient of War could take a little bit of damage or perhaps the Wisp could start taking some damage and that's actually some bad news as all of a sudden the Archer now getting in some shots off onto that ghoul as well. And perhaps taking down the Archer would have been a little bit of a safer call there as the ghoul is just going to come by, try to take down a Wisp. He has done a serious bit of damage and oh, the ghoul is going to be able to chase after the Wisp. I don't believe so unless that the Wisp gets caught up on some sort of critter or creep. Oh, Oh, beautiful position. Wow, talk about knowing your knowing your map positions, able to hide himself in that wisp right there and not get caught. Shadow Strike, it looks as though the Death Knight did get one wisp kill earlier, but not going to be able to get much of anything else as we can see that the Death Knight is still sitting at level one, hoping to perhaps steal a little bit more experience with that Death Coil. All right. Archer is now still being trained. Skeletal Minion is going to get taken down. Warden still sitting at level 1 and not yet quite at level 2 as it has not finished taking down this Null Warden. Death Knight now being forced to retreat once more and that is actually a, lot, a fair bit of damage that that Death Knight has taken. I know it doesn't look like much. He is still pretty much in the yellow but 2 or, or 3 to 5 more seconds in that fight and it would really be below half health and then start to be in danger. So the Death Knight now simply retreating all the way back and getting time, uh, or giving time to his opponent to try to creep out this Null Warden creep camp. Archers are still being added here, and these ghouls should have no problems taking down this Null Overseer creep camp as you now see them get into position. Here we go. The Death Knight should get to level 2 here without any issue whatsoever, and here's the engagement going after this creep camp here. Purge onto that Death Knight. The Warden does going to come up and show, uh, bring in its pretty little face right there. And now, did it get the experience? I don't believe so. I believe the Warden was already sitting at level 2 here as the Death Knight now trying to venture forth and perhaps chase down or chase away that um, Warden. The Warden, however, has actually gotten a lot of damage under the unit as the Death Knight is now back on Blight and it will be able to generate a lot of hit points. All right. Oh, what's going to be happening here? The cold tower is right there. The warden is trying to perhaps make a little bit of a play overextending herself as the death knight is sitting on blight and going to regenerate all of those hit points rather nicely. A double hit point regeneration for that death knight. You can see him regenerating hit points very, very quickly as the um, what the warden now looking to regroup here. All right, that is a lot of ghouls. The warden sitting at level one or sitting at level two with only one of his experience or one of his 
Bill currently being used as though Death Knight now needs to back off again. All right, the Warden could come after that Death Knight. And oh, that is absolutely a nightmare. What is happening here? The Death Knight. Oh, the Warden does not have enough mana. And a little bit of a game of chicken is now underway. Is Can a Death Coil actually go off in time? The Death Knight now down to 54 hit points. Needs to get away. Down to 24. There is a Death Coil. And gets the kill. And now using the Scroll of Town portal. But was that a smart move? Yes, he did get the kill onto the Archer. And now the ghouls are just going to be getting some easy shots onto this archer creep camp as well. As you can see that the Null Overseer gets the final blow there. Warden now looking for that Death Knight. Oh, the Death Knight gets taken down as the Warden does have plenty of mana. And that is the reason why I was concerned. The Death Knight was so low on hit points anyways. Might as well just have tried to get some damage onto the Warden or take down an archer or two with Death Coils. Instead of burning that Squirrel Town portal, now you are down a Squirrel Town portal and you lost your hero anyways. Resurrection time isn't that long, but then again, I guess if you were already training up the Lich, you did not want to lose that precious time either. Troll Shadow Priest and Troll Berserker being hired from the mercenary camp as you see the ghouls are now making their way over as well to try and disrupt all of this creeping archers are going to be getting in a bit of focus fire it looks as though the ghoul will be backing off there is that warden sitting at level two looking to finish off this creep camp that is a level six rock golem there should give plenty of experience and almost get to level three with the warden coming in with another shadow strike this is potentially huge as another ghoul gets taken down uh, we can see that there was the taking out of the Ancient of War, but the Warden now sitting at level 3, level 2 Shadow Strike is pretty much um, instantaneous death for any ghoul. As you can see, there is one ghoul and it's going to be just taking damage unless it gets um, unless it gets saved. It is not going to get saved at all. No death coil coming in. The Warden going to be picking off units and I believe one more hit. You don't even bother chasing it. It is going to die. There it goes. As we now see the Death Knight, or excuse me, the Lich trying to regroup here. Lich and Death Knight is back out on the field. The Warden with plenty of mana and now a Staff of Teleportation could arrive anywhere on the map in a moment's notice and try and disrupt. All right, you can see the Death Knight now still sitting at level one. There is a Shadow Strike. There is a Death Coil and a Frost Nova onto a Warden. The Warden relatively okay, though, as she's going to be able to escape without any serious issues. Ancient of Wonders is up. Tree of Eternity being teched. We are going into dual Ancient of Lore. And this is exactly how... Um, how Xiao Shi Shi wants this game to go. He wants to be able to just constantly put pressure while teching. This warden has been doing an absurd, doing a, a, a just an absurd job in terms of being able to effectively, effectively shut down creeping from the undead. Null Overseer down to 183 hit points. The warden now making its way back off to the north. Are we going to see a shadow strike onto the uh, yes, the ghoul gets taken down once more, and the Warden still has a potion of mana if it decides to use it. There's a Death Coil Frost Nova attack there. One, two punch to take down a ghoul, but still not very mana, fish, mana efficient. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, down to 173 hit points. Going to take the attack there. Is it going to get taken down? No. Yes, it does. Circuit of Nobility. Picked up by the Death Knight. The Death Knight could easily get to level 2 if it actually tried to take down a Troll Shadow Priest. Does not do that as the Warden currently sitting at level 3. Level 3 Warden. Looking very, very strong right now. Has gotten a lot of kills with that Shadow Strike. And quickly sells an item. Not quite sure what he sold there. Um, picks up a Clarity Potion. Still holding on to the Circuit of Nobility. And is ready to run back out here in a moment's notice. Warden may get to level 4 off of this green creep camp. Or be very, very close to it. No, right on the, almost on the money. 902 out of 900. As the Warden now makes her way off to the north. Alright, the Lich is going to be in a little bit of trouble if it gets caught in open field. And the Death Knight does come over to reinforce the Lich. Still sitting at level 1. But we do see dual obsidian statues, which is exactly what you're looking for from ZDR. ZDR now on the move with ghouls, with obsidian statues, with crypt fiends ready to go. And if the Lich can perhaps creep out and make this game go a little bit long, that is actually going to be extremely beneficial for ZDR. However, if the game does get held up short, that is going to be 
massively in favor of the current level five or or level four warden. Excuse me, as the level four warden now harassing inside the gold mine, haunted gold mine of the undead. All right, Black Citadel trying to train up more acolytes. Another acolyte gonna get taken out there. There it goes. Another one may get taken out. No, let's take a look at the shadow strike. The shadow strike should end up finishing this acolyte off. And it does. So pretty much four acolytes now were taken down, constantly getting regenerated as now we see rejuvenation onto that warden. The warden doing a great job putting constant pressure. However, there goes a bear and there was also devour magic to really, really slow things up for that warden. That warden needs a lot of mana as the warden blinks through. What is it going to do? Is it going to try to prick up an orb of venom? I don't believe it has an orb of venom. So unable to really challenge this bear. All right, there you see two destroyers in the air causing problems. Dryads are now there as well. As we see a shadow strike now go down onto the Death Knight. Death Knight seeing that level 3. Is it going to be able to take it down? It looks as though the Death Knight down to 70, 58 hit points, 28. P buying a potion, no, unable to do so. And now with a level 5 Warden, are we going to perhaps just see a fan of knives? No, potion of invulnerability. The Lich now desperately in trouble. And it looks like that is pretty much going to be the game. That Warden, a one-man wrecking crew, able to destroy much of the bases. And there is the GG, Xiao Shi Shi taking two straight games off of ZDR. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, hope you guys enjoyed game number two.